for my uh, trade recap of the week uh, from the 20th to the 24th. Um, I had some good trades and I had some bad trades. Uh, I'll get into this it's, uh, at first. Uh, let's jump into this. We had uh, DPW, uh, DPW, seven o'clock, and um, I was going over this trade. And to be honest, it's, I love trading pre-market, and I really missed this spot here. It did like a high, a, a high, a higher high, and then it just came into this section. And I, it was like the trend, the three wave, which I love. And I was kind of upset. I said, oh, shit, I missed it, and it was going down. I, I don't I don't like chasing here, okay, in case it bounces off VWAP and blah, blah, blah. But then uh, I identified it the pivot, well, not a pivot, but it just, like, reversed here. So I always draw my first trend line. And then respect to that. So I had a stop out. Uh, where did I get? No, I got in short here. I noticed, like, this small distribution pattern. Not di uh, Sorry, not the distribution, but uh, my special, like, what do you want to call it, distribution, but it was a... I thought it was a pennant, you know, boom. So I got in short here, and literally I said, I'm going to stop out here. Literally 10, I think it was 10 cents. Uh, didn't work. It curled on this on this trend line. Boom, stopped me out. Notice again, this here descending triangle. I'm saying, okay, I'm going to nail it here. Nailed it. Okay, it worked. Retest, like I like it, eh? So up, high, support, lower high, support, and then crack it, retest it, and then down. And I thought this was going to the TP, uh, to my TP, to the J lines. Stopped me out. So this year was started off rough. Monday morning, I was eager to trade. I was hungry. Um, and uh, I was eager. So here I got a, uh, I started off the day rough. You know, it was, it was a reasonable red. Nothing like I can't manage, but I mean, it, it got off to the bad start. Um, and then uh, basically out of the gates, it didn't do... Uh, didn't do really much. Not that I, stuff that I don't like. So basically, hmm, we we're just making higher though. I was just grinding, grinding, and this is typically not my stock. What we want to see is like a high here, boom, crack the J lines, and then just like float around in this section here, then pop and drop sort of thing. That's what we want. But it was just like grinding. Every like low was being bought, bought, and. Um, it's typically not our trade. So I did have the fibs up here, but it didn't really work. Um, and out of the gate, it just failed, you know, and then went right to the 200. And then, um, sorry, there's someone outside. And then it did pop, it went into the zone here and just dropped. So, <clears throat> but at this time, um, it was 10. And I was probably off the screens. By 10, if I don't see anything interesting, I get off. So that was Monday. Um, start off red. Next up, we had MBRX. MBRX. I also traded this uh, pre-market. Was a nice trade. Um, even though I did get stop out pre-market again, I uh, starting off Tuesday with a red trade, small red. Um, I just saw this up pop here. Even if I would have got the top here, I would have curled down and got short. I got you know. I, I like taking shorts before eight thirty. Um, because generally after eight, well, here it did work, <laughs> but I mean, um, and if I was really patient with this, really patient, I'm looking at it there now, uh, you know, this could have been a nice uh, distribution pattern here, boom, boom, boom. Um, sorry, I'll bring this one down here. Bring this trend. Come on, baby. Come down, daddy. So, you know, this would have been like a up, down, up, short, could have gone here. This is a miss. And I wrote it here, big miss on my part, big, 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 big miss. So I have to be more vigilant, more patient with these. Could have got it short, boom, and nailed it to the J lines. This would have been the play. So I'm kind of pissed there that I, uh, you know, it's a small cut, nothing big here. I always trade pre market small, really small size, um, one third of size. So at the gate, we were looking for the zone here. I had this zone here, zone to load, and another zone like to risk off of. I forget what price this was. Uh, yeah, that was like the 170-ish. Here, I'll scoop my face over here. Um, and um, came out of the gate, boom. And I says, okay, two things here. We're going to want to see either the J-line rejection, which I didn't take. Uh, so, boom. And you know me, I, I love the J-lines. Don't take me wrong. I love the J-lines. But 
I have a hard time jumping in short here. A really hard time. And sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, and it's a question of feeling. I don't know why. So we had this high here um, from this high. We'll just pull this box down here. Oops, sorry. What the hell? Um, so we had this like this zone here <clears throat> of resistance. So I took a feeler, and I think I did have. Give me a sec. I think I did pull my fibs on this one. Let me just see. I'm very curious. And you bring your fibs to here. Boom. Yeah, that's that 38 line. That FRS, uh, FRSX on Friday that I missed. MBRX <clears throat> went right to that fib level. Right here, to that 38%. This would have been like the zone to get this box here was in the zone here, the zone to get more, like, and risk up here. So <clears throat> I took a feeler short. And I was going over tape this week. And it just was like going green, 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 green. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong though, at 150 here, at this level, at 150, we had super sellers, like big numbers going through on the tape. And I did get FOMO. I said, no, let it, because it got wicking. And then we had the how much? We had like 1.5 million here. So it was grinding, grinding, grinding. So I took a feeler because of this resistance level here. A feeler here, and then I saw this wick, and then it just red. I mean, tape was insane red, big numbers going through. We had 110. Thousand. We had a nineteen thousand. We had another like seventeen thousand. Like big numbers. So, and the tape proved it. And look at this. We had a uh, one point five million. So I think I caught the top, and I covered half, literally here. Trim some at the uh, at this bottom wick here, because it was the pre market low. Um, and then it popped into the J lines. You could have recycled. And then I trimmed out more here in the two hundred. And I held this for the all-day fade. I was like, from this section to this section, I was like, don't reclaim, don't reclaim, don't reclaim. It reclaimed stuff and came down. But I was risking like over VWAP here. I think I had to stop at 150. And then it was smooth sailing from there. And I eventually uh, got out. <clears throat> I think I got out in this section here. One th uh, the bottom... Yeah, I think 128. Yeah, in this area here, I got out. I got out in this section here. <clears throat> I was looking with Nico, and he, I think he was in this, he was also in the same trade. And there was no volume, literally, and there was, like, no volume. So I was happy with that. <clears throat> we got out here. We can, then it could have went zombied out after hours, or, at, like, before the bell, but it was a good call. So we had a low... Then we notice this trend here that's making higher lows, so that's why I scaled out here. That was a good trade. Uh, next trade we had IMMP. I love IMMP. IMMP. Um, this was. I, I missed this here. Um, I will turn up the computer. I missed this. We, I was watching this. I was watching, watching, and then it was just like falling. And I said, let me just take a feeler here, like 190 and risk two. And then, uh, I don't know why, I hesitated. Came down, made a support, then boom. Then I noticed this triangle. Notice that. So I says, yeah, I got you. So I nailed it here, feeler size, like 180. And um, there's, the, there's that famous retest that I love. So support. Support, crack, retest the support. So I had a first target here, and I got out here. I don't know why. I think Jay was also, like, adding here, and I was getting out. Sometimes I have these really dumb ideas. I, could, I just didn't want to give... I had Monday, red. Tuesday, started off red, and I had, like, I finished off nicely on um, MB, uh, MBRX. But, you know, this is like... I'm not gambling here. I, I'm protecting. I want to say... I want to protect my gains, and I... I don't know why I took it off, uh, to be honest. Um, then at the open, it just came down. And I said, screw you. Uh, this is not my setup. We're looking like these levels here to, to get in short, you know. I was looking. Oh, oops, what the heck, sorry about this. My toss skills are not as good as Jane yet. Or uh, Nico. Nico's awesome with, uh, with toss. So I was looking for like these levels, you know, to get in that 38 again feeler. And I would have cut it. I would have got in good size, low. Like I even put my, I had so much time here. This morning was so boring. This pre-market was so boring. 
And uh, then, um, this was the 23rd, were we? Yeah, 23rd. Then we have YVR. <clears throat> YVR uh, popping up. Yeah, wait for Then we had YVR popping, and this one um, was tricky. Uh, it was popping up pre-market, <clears throat> had a shit ton of volume, um, and then it was like the only one up. So I says, you know what, uh, Nico, I'm going to VV, VR, VRV, uh, getting my interest. So, um, um, hold on. And then, um, oh, sorry, so then texting me. I don't know what's up. So I got in with a feeler here. <clears throat> Not good. So feeler out and then back in. And then first wash, I covered half into the J lines. And technically, this is the same setup as NTZ. Same setup, same thing. So crack, accumulation, accumulation, hold, hard, hold, 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 bottom, higher, low, boom, let's take off again. And I cut it. Um, here I was like, cut half, and I was in the money. I said, screw you, I'm not giving back most of my gains. And then um, popped, and then made it in, past my golden zone, which, you know, technically when it's getting up into this area here, I, I, I should be getting short if I'm not in a position. If I was like shorting down here, I'd be careful getting out. But I mean, if I'm not in a position, this is where I should be starting taking feelers and adding. But I identified this three wave. Um, I identified this three wave. So pop, right shoulder, and then I got in here. One, uh, two, uh, 250, was it? 260. Yeah, 260. And it, at this point here, from here, I was like ready. It, well, I would maybe break even. Small gain. So I nailed it here, covered on the 200, which I have to. And, um, no, this is the mess up, sorry. <laughs> I covered 100% on the J line, on the 200 moving average here. I don't know why I had um, the share size to cover here. I wanted just 50% and I had 100%. It's a fuck up. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, then we get a pop, and then when it cracked the J lines, I got in short here again. I wanted in because we knew this was like a, had an 85, 90% all day fader on this thing. So I really wanted in. You know, I would want to get in at all costs. So I was in here with a feeler again back in. I wasn't loading, and my stop was right above here, like this zone here. If it breaks over the J lines, I wanted to be out. So. Uh, because it was 10.30 on the dot, and it just failed, and it went right to the 200. This was a super trade. <clears throat> so I made back, like, more profit from this area here with my baby size than this crap that I had this here. This, this is a small loss, little win, so I'm like, good loss. Well, not a big loss, but I mean a loss. Made half that loss back, cut it, gave back more gains here. Well, not give it back. I was stopping out in the money. And this was very good. This is like made up. This was like really green, well not really green, but back in the green, and then snap it here. And this like this was the this was the cheese, man. This was the cheese on the lasagna. <laughs> this was nice. So that was um, VRP. Oh boy, all these good people talk to me. Uh, then we had today NTZ. NTZ. NTZ was hard. <clears throat> she was. And she came out so weak. So pre-market, distribution pattern, I don't know why I didn't get in here, to be honest. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know. I have uh, FOMO hesitation, because I did draw like a distribution pattern here. And this would have been the spot to get in, covering the J-lines. But I didn't, uh, so we'll forget about that. Now, the open. It came out really weak. We look at the volume. Had zero volume. Even Jay on the mic was saying, "My God, this thing is like dead. This is going to go to the 200 without even a f without a fight." Um, so it came in to the J lines, and I was hesitant. 
I didn't like it. I didn't feel it. It's the mean and Sometimes I feel it, sometimes I don't. So here, uh, come down. And this wick and it slammed. And I, I, I nailed the hot keys right here. Okay, because I says, okay, maybe there's like an over under. Nailed it and I got a really, I, got, I think I got uh, on small size and I got two fills. So I hear, <clears throat> I hit the hot keys. Nothing. Okay, I'm in. I never check my share size. Literally, 20 seconds later. Bloop, another film. What the hell? I didn't hit anything. And I got two fills here. So I got probably like a fill here and probably a shitty fill here. So then it popped down and then it wicked back up and then it stopped me out. So I said, okay. And then it went red. Tape was like really insane. It was like red, 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 really red. And then I said, okay, it's going to fill the J line. So let me just get in on the fill of the J line. So it came down, wick, boop. I got back in, came down. I was like, oh, yes, this rolling over. No. Came down, buyers, really spiked up really fast. Like we had um, 580,000, like level two was on fire here, really on fire in this section. So it stopped me out. So took a small hit, <clears throat> small hit. And then tape here was really insane. Really, 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 I mean, I mean, I have it recorded and I'm gonna watch it this weekend. And um, it was, it was crazy. Really, really crazy. Hold on, let's go there. Let me just get in here nice and. So like tape was like wick. And, and then people were like selling, selling, selling. Even Jay was calling the mic. Oh, we got sellers here. And I think Jay was like pretty in with good size here. Anyways, um, so I nailed that again short again here. I had a good, nice average. I think I had a two, uh, two, 218 or 220 average. Sorry, 215. And then it was coming down. So, oh, yes. And then it kind of find that friggin' support again. And then it just volume came in. And at this time, we had uh, 550,000. 550, and then next candle, we had 1 million. So this candle here, from here to here, we had a 1 million. So... I had no choice. I had to get out. VWAP was there. I got out. And I said, okay, at this time, you can tell me on the tape, on the tape, on screen recording, I'm saying, okay, Sean, you be careful. Um, reassess. You took like three cuts. And basically, this was, I was saying, okay, this is my last cut, guys. I'm not trying. It's my three bullets. Um, so then it popped over my 38% here. And then went to the 50% retracement. Let's walk some here. <clears throat> And then, um, why isn't this going away? I'm trying to get that to go away. Okay. So, um, tape was insane. When I say insane, I mean, it was like, it was going green, 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 red, 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 and then green, 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 red, red. So it was very hard to, uh, Jay will be giving us a lesson tomorrow on how to spot these. And I was looking at book map, and we didn't have any heat map, any heat map here at these levels. Um, and then uh, I see this stuff, tape just going insane. So it just bounced. I got back in here at 240-ish, and I said, okay, I'm going to respect my trading rules. I'm getting at 240. I'm going to stop out 250. And then we get this wash. Woo. I said, okay, well, here it is. Here's like the, here's the wash. It's going. It's, I mean, this the trade's over. I'm already, like, at this point here, I'm... I'm putting out my targets out like for the 200 moving average and then um, the next low of day here, like the low of, of, of day, like I put my line. So I said, I'm going to stop out. I'm going to get uh, collect more at 183. And I was like, no, she wasn't over. She was just getting started. So she was curling on the J lines. And I said, okay, you're curling, you're curling. And then it was going up. And I'm like, oh, God, geez, where are you going? And it's going up and up and up. Tape is insane. So I put a stop out here in the money. So I was like, in this section here, I was, I was, was a reasonable red. I mean, nothing drastic, not max daily here. I mean, it was a good red, but I made it like, I stopped the hemorrhage here because I made like maybe a, a third back here because I was trading small. Here we're going in small, 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 small. And I says, you know what? I don't want to start loading into the section and have this thing rip against me and make it into like a, a fight, you know, like a max daily loss or a situation. So 
That was the idea behind the trade, and I have it on, on recording, and I'm going to go over this weekend. So curls on the J-lines, get stopped out, and by this point here, I was like, I'm throwing down the, I'm throwing the gloves down, man. <laughs> I don't want to fight anymore. I really don't want to fight. Friday, it's like going into 10, 15, but this is the same setup, man, as um, YVR yesterday. Same setup, so high, higher high, lower high. This is the actual zone I should have been nailing like yesterday. That 260 area yesterday, and look, fades out. And then this candle went seriously. I was like, really, I was like, do I hit it? Let me hit it. No, comes down. Okay, let me hit on the J-lines. We know if we crack the J-lines, it's going to crack, so it's going down. No, and at this point here, rah! 750,000 shares sold. Boom, one shot. Someone just dumped shares right here. I'm like, oh. And I was pissed. So I says, you know what? Turn it off. Leave it alone. Get away. You take your small red and just walk away. Plot your trade out and start the weekend so I can have to get to work. So so that's my trade. And then it finally went. Didn't go down actually too. And it actually ran back up. So this is possibility. Possible? Possibility? Can't say that. This is possible for a day two setup on Monday. So this is going to be on my radar. NTZ, Nico, NTZ Monday morning. This is going to be good to go because it didn't touch the 15. And uh, look, the 15 is 140-ish. Uh, so we get a nice pop up here in this consolidation area, like 180 to 2. Let's nail this Monday morning, okay? So rules for next week. Spoke to Nico. Um, he's on vacation, will send me vacation. I sent him my trade and he loves to analyze my trades and we have to wait for the trend line break. Uh, I don't use that enough. I'm mostly looking at patterns, but I should be, but it was kind of funky this one, okay? It was funky because I was drawing a trend line during pre-market. You can actually see my video. I was drawing the, uh, lines here, okay? I was drawing this line. We had this line here, go up, 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 crack, okay? So even if you would have got short here on the trend line break, it was a trend line break fake down. And then this is another trend line here, but the real trend line probably is this one right here. If you want to do this, boom. So crack the trend line, retest down. That's why I put this here. So lesson learned. Uh, seems like the moves are happening more like 10, 10, 30. Um, so you have to be more cautious, more... Um, just be careful on these moves because uh, this could have been a nice, again, a nice green day. You know, all this hemorrhage here could have been stopped by me getting in here and making it back, but it is what it is. So, lesson for next week, uh, pay attention more to the trend lines. Uh, be a bit more patient. Don't start sizing in to the J lines as of right away. Um, don't take three cuts front side, take two. Try that, uh, and it'll give me more like more energy, more patience to nail it up here in the the 38 fib. But this we were looking for this for in the 260, 270. So it is what it is. All right, next week let's do this.